Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you episode 13, I believe, of my Transfer Rumours slash Roundup series. And yeah, we've got some big news in this episode, which I'm sure you're all aware because I'm late with delivering it as usual. But anyhow, the first one is Henrik Mkhitaryan. Sky Sports announced that Manchester United have uh, agreed a fee with Borussia Dortmund of £26.3 million for the signing of Henrik Mkhitaryan. The day before, Damasio confirmed this and he's basically the reliable source. He's the major reliable person when it comes to football transfers. He's like the don of football transfers. He, he, usually what he says goes. And uh, he said this, uh, that we'd accepted, had a bid accepted. And yeah, his, it looks as though his medical is going to be within a week. And he should be confirmed before July the 4th at the very latest, apparently. So yeah, this is brilliant. When he was first linked to Arsenal, you can go back in that video, and I said he would be perfect for Arsenal. He, like, I'm not just jumping on the hype bandwagon. He literally is a fantastic player. He won Bundesliga Player of the Year last season. And when he officially signs, I'll go through it a lot more because I don't want to drag the video out. But as I always do with Manchester United signings, I'll br break it down and like compare. And, you know, all that good stuff when a player signs, when you get that uh, excitement and everything. Um... But yeah, for now, it looks as though we've got him and uh, he he wanted to come to us. Apparently, it's his dream club. So I'm, I'm loving it. All right. We're still managing mm -hmm. to get world class players. Some people might say he's not world class, mm -hmm. but, you know, if he's not, he's, he's the wrong just under. Anyhow, quality players, if you like. I'm still I still think he's world class. But anyway, uh, quality players that still want to join us even though we don't have Champions League. And that's because of Jose Mourinho, as well as our illustrious history. But if it was Louis van Gaal, don't think we would have got this player. Anyway, the next player is another one that's been dragging on for weeks and weeks and weeks. And everyone already knows what's going to happen, but it's Ibrahimovic. And um, looks as though he's having his medical on July the 1st, according to Damasio. Oh, he's going to be in Manchester to sign the contract. So it might be confirmed on the 2nd or the 3rd. Uh, because obviously, you know, it takes a few hours to get all the documents, the medicals, all the press photos and everything. So it, so it might officially be done just before Mkhitaryan or around the same time. But it looks as though he's getting his medical and as long as there's no problems, which I doubt there will be for either of these players. We signed two of Mino Raiola's agents, uh, sorry, players. That's the agent and uh, he didn't have a good relationship with Sir Alex Ferguson, but you know... I'm, I'm happy we've got money-hungry uh, agents in the world because they're getting us brilliant players. I mean, Ibrahimovic and Mkhitaryan without Champions mm -hmm. League, <sighs> that's just insane. Like, no matter what people say, if Ibra's passed it, all this bullshit, we'll have to wait and see next season. And then we can laugh if he if he proves all the doubt was wrong, which I'm sure he will. And, of course, we can cry if he doesn't. But, anyhow, next player we've got is Sadio Mane. Now, there's about 400 different confirmed prices for this player uh, that he's being sold to Liverpool um, it started with 25 then it went 30 and now it's up to 38.5 I think mostly reported it's roughly in the region of about 34 million plus add-ons uh, obviously it could be a bit less it could be 30 million plus add-ons but it's in the 30s anyhow and uh, obviously Liverpool have overpaid for this player like there's no denying that Premier League players are always overpriced look at Troy Deeney I mean 30 million if it goes through ridiculous but um fans really shouldn't care like I don't understand yeah you can joke about rival fans uh, their clubs paying too much for players and all that but as a fan why would you care what your club has paid I mean it might make them look stupid if they flop but still don't you want to isn't it better to take that risk and then have that player instead of not. So Liverpool signing Mane, it's a good signing for them, to be fair. Um, he's pacey, good dribbler. His shooting is a bit lacklustre here and there, but um, you know he's a direct replacement for Sterling. And uh, it's took him two years to do that. Well, almost. Is it a year, two years? I can't even remember. A year, two years, whatever. But they finally replaced him. And uh, yeah, it should be done tomorrow, the day after. Like The medicals are getting done pretty quick, apparently. Uh, I don't know if he's came back from holiday or whatever, but it looks as though this is going to be Liverpool's second signing, is it? Uh, their first one was Matip, I think. No, third, because they got uh, Karias, the goalkeeper. But anyway, yeah, this is apparently their marquee signing, according to... Oh, I forgot the source, but I think it's from the Liverpool Echo. It's a 
Liverpool correspondent who said this is going to be like their biggest signing. So I don't know who else they'll get, but it might be lesser known players that Jürgen Klopp will try and develop. But anyway, Mane, I think it's a solid signing, obviously for a bit too much. But like I said, fans really shouldn't care what a player costs as long as he performs. And we'll see if he does next season. Next player is a confirmed transfer, all done, all dusted, medical completed, free transfer of Dani Alves to Juventus. Now... And people knew this ages ago. Again, Demazio said it first about a month ago that uh, this was going to happen. He said Mascherano was a possibility, but less likely. And uh, we'll see what happens with him. He's just come back from Copa America. And we'll talk about that a bit later in the video, because obviously it's a big announcement that everyone already knows from that. But uh, Dani Alves, very, very solid player. And the amount of players Juventus have got for free is just ridiculous. They've had so many amazing players. Half their squad is free, uh, what they've paid. And they've got another one. He's getting on a bit, and he, he'll probably be a Micon player for Roma, where he's an impact player. Hopefully what Ibra is for us when he eventually joins. Just a player that's only there, supposed to be temporary, who brings world-class quality. He's got experience. He knows what he's doing, and hopefully he'll help the rest of the squad. So for free, you can't go wrong. And uh, it's a brilliant signing. Now, I said I'd mentioned the Copa America announcement, and that's obviously that Messi is retiring from international football following a third successive final defeat in three years for Argentina. When you look at it and you realise that Argentina haven't won a trophy in 22 years, it's ludicrous. I mean, I know the refereeing in that game was absolutely diabolical, and I believe he was a Brazilian referee, so I don't know how the hell he was able to referee that, but anyhow... You can kind of understand he gets slated a lot for not apparently showing the effort that he does from uh, mm -hmm. for Barcelona by Argentina fans. Not all of them, just a, a small minority, but that's got to him. Also from this, apparently Aguero, Higuain, Mascarano are all considering retiring as well. It, it, it's crazy. They're going to have a mass exodus of players that are about to hit their 30s. And uh, it's kind of understandable. I think Argentina is a team that's been mismanaged. Uh, they've mm -hmm. got so much quality and it just surprises me when you realise... Sorry for this, like, it keeps buzzing, like, fucking group chats, I haven't met with them. But the amount of quality they've got when they haven't won in so long, it's just ludicrous, it really is. And uh, three successive final defeats, you can understand why he's done it. He's only 29, he wants to focus on uh, club football, so, you know, fair play to him. And uh, he doesn't go out an international winner, but, uh, I mean, look at his pedigree, like... <laughs> doesn't make him any less of a player he's still one of the greatest of all time and in many people's opinion the best footballer of all time so you know i don't think it's going to stay in his reputation at all anyway next i was going to say player it's not a player it's a manager laurent blanc has been sacked by psg after averaging a trophy every 16 games for that club it's ludicrous and i think it's so harsh like what was he supposed to do in the champions league like He's won the league, he's won the cup numerous times. I know they've got by far the best team, but he won the league by about 35 points. I mean, what more do you have to do? Seems the Champions League, I suppose. But still, uh, it's rumoured that they're going to get Una Emery, the uh, Sevilla coach who's won Europa League three times. So obviously they want that European pedigree, which makes sense. And um, yeah, I just feel a bit sorry for Laurent Blanc. I mean, seeing that, I think his payoffs are 22 million euro pay off so maybe shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be feeling too sorry for him because he's going to get a huge well 22 million jesus christ forget the sack that's insane but uh yeah very harsh in terms of what he achieved at psg even though they're by far the best team in league one and they should be achieving what he's achieved but still no less of an achievement for him so a bit harsh in my opinion next player is a player that looks as though he's going to be moving on facebook he said uh it's uh, subitich said he wants to leave uh, Dortmund. He's not happy with earning his wages on the bench was one of his lines, which I, I respect, to be fair. Like, he wants to play football. He just wants to play in a first team. And he said he he's loved his nine-year spell, I think, at Borussia Dortmund. And, uh, yeah, he's willing to end it because now he's a squad rotational player, so he just wants to play first-team football at another club. He's being linked with a whole host. Major links are Liverpool because of the Jürgen Klopp um, effect, I suppose. But... When he eventually leaves, because I think he will now that he said he wants to, I mean, Dortmund will have lost four players. Hummels, Gundogan, Mkhitaryan, Subotic. Like, although they're getting a lot of youngsters and Dortmund are the kind of team that obviously get 
players that are unknown make them world class and I'm sure they'll do it again still they oh for god's sake <sighs> those sirens anyway they still are losing a hell of a lot of world class players so I wonder how far they're going to fall next season or if they can just you know do what they usually do but do it quickly and replace a lot of players instead of just one or two next player we've got linked with a move is Pogba and uh, it's rumoured that Manchester United are willing to pay 100 million for Paul Pogba and uh, we should do it. We literally should do it. Uh, he's one of, if not, well, I'm not going to say he's the best central midfielder in the world, but he's got the potential to be that, certainly. Uh, currently, I think he's he's only like 23, I think, and he's just unreal. And I don't care what we pay. Like I said, fans shouldn't give a shit what a club pays. It's better that than it being sat in the Glazers' po uh, pockets for us. So 100 million, break the transfer record, do whatever it takes. Because if we get him in our midfield, along with Mkhitaryan, Ibrahimovic, Martial, Rashford, like, Jesus Christ, De Gea, like, we're going to build a solid, solid team. Smalling, as well, is becoming a great centre-back, like, someone you can depend on. Bailey's a youngster, but our spine... Our, the middle of our team, if we manage to get Pogba, De Gea, Smalling, Pogba, Ibrahimovic, that spine is insane. So no matter what, we have to try and uh, do it. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm more hopeful with Jose Mourinho, mind, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm hopeful, just not expecting. But if it did, it would shatter the world record and, uh, well, transfer fee. But the shame is, I think Real Madrid want to do that and... Um, Obviously, Pogba's got a good relationship with Zidane and it's his idol. So, uh, yeah, I reckon he'll go Real Madrid, but we can always hope uh, as Man United fans. Next player we've got is Yaya Touré, who's been heavily linked with Inter again, as he was last year. And I think this year he will go. Uh, obviously, Gundogan's already went. There's rumours um, Pep Guardiola wants as much as six or seven key players. So, uh, it... it of course, there might be another centre midfielder that he'll bring in. So I think Yaya Toure will leave. And I'm not sure Man City fans will be too bothered. He wasn't as good as what he was last season. Well, two seasons ago and three seasons ago. But um, he's still a good player. He's just obviously got all that you know, negativity off the pitch and all all the stuff. So it just seems like a, a move that would happen. Going back to Man Senior manager, he respected. So yeah, I reckon this one will happen. Moving on to the last rumour, we've got Schneidlin, rumoured to be going to Everton. Now, I hope this doesn't happen. He's had an underwhelming first season at Manchester United, but he's been mismanaged. He's played hardly any games compared to what you would expect. And I think he would be rejuvenated under Jose Mourinho. And uh, I reckon he will stay, but there's a possibility he will go. Obviously, if we get another centre mid, one of our midfielders will have to go. So we'll have to see who it's going to be, but I hope it's not Schneidlin. I think this would be a mistake selling him. I think he's a quality player and given the right players around him, given the right manager, the right management, I think he'll be top quality. So I hope he doesn't leave. He's linked to Everton. We'll see how it develops. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.